Hello, I'm Kevin from Kittronic and today I'm going to take a few minutes to take you through some of the features of our Deluxe Amplifier Kit. I'm now going to quickly run through the parts that are supplied with the Deluxe Amplifier Kit. The kit is supplied with two speakers, connecting wire so that you can connect the speakers to your PCB. Here is the PCB itself. The kit is supplied with a PP3 battery snap. There is a power LED, a power switch, a potentiometer for volume control, a DC power connector, an IC holder, the amplifier IC, a selection of electrolytic capacitors, ceramic capacitors and some resistors. Okay, so once you've assembled your Deluxe Amplifier, you should have a kit that looks something like this. Here we can see the fully assembled PCB. This is connected to the speakers using the speaker wire. I've used the PP3 battery snap to connect to a 9 volt battery. And this is a 3.5 millimeter version of the connecting lead, which is connected to my iPod using the headphone jack. We do also have an additional iPod lead which looks something like this. This would replace the 3.5 millimeter jack lead and would allow you to connect into the bottom connector on an iPod or iPhone. Though I have used a 9 volt battery to power this kit you could alternatively use a DC wall block looking something like this to connect into the 2.1 millimeter DC jack here on the PCB. If you have a battery connected when you insert this DC wall block, the battery is automatically disconnected and it switches to running off the DC wall block. If you were then to remove that lead, it will switch back onto being supplied from the battery. The Deluxe Amplifier has some nice features. These include a power LED. Here this power LED is mounted onto the PCB itself. If you wish, you could mount this off the PCB and connect it using leads. This would allow you to mount this LED into an enclosure or case of your own design. We also have a power switch so that you can power the kit down without having to remove the batteries. And we also have volume control here. This is particularly nice when using the iPod lead as unlike the headphone connector, the iPod lead is always at full volume, so if you didn't have this volume control, you wouldn't be able to turn the volume down. You can supply this amplifier kit with any voltage between 2 and 15 volts DC. We would recommend that where possible, you use a voltage supply that is towards the higher end of this range. This is because the amplifier chip can only amplify the audio signal until the point where it reaches or exceeds the supply voltage. Beyond this point, the output signal will become clipped and the output sound will sound distorted. So by using a higher voltage, you'll be able to play your amplifier kit louder before any distortion occurs.